welcome back to another Squatting Quarters. In this episode, we talk about some behind the scenes information as to how we successfully filmed this incredible mountain bike rider with an FPV drone. I'm sure some of you are going to ask, but using an FPV drone that's over 250 grams, how can you get so close to a person? Well, there are some FPV drones that will film 4K that are under 250 grams. The worry about using them on this shoot and I do have them, is the nature of the shoot and the area, it'd be very easy for them to be damaged beyond repair, hitting a mountain bike or being run over by it, and thus ending the shoot prematurely. So yes, on this occasion we did use a drone that was over 250 grams, and we did fly very close to the rider, but legally, how did we do it? The rules state that you can't fly a drone that's 250 grams over or close to uninvolved people and that is where the crux of the matter is the rider is indeed involved in the shoot the shoot is for the rider and has been arranged by the rider so how do we do it well we did a few passes with a few different fpv drones to see how the rider felt about each drone and whether any was a bit too um intimidating for them and then we picked the best drone for the rider and his comfort knowing how close we can get and how comfortable he felt to be able to do his tricks. Obviously we was flying FPV, so we of course needed a spotter as well, so we had one of those on site. So that's point one, weight and distance. When we arrived on the site with the rider, we'd never seen the site before or sat down in person with the rider, so it was essential that we did a risk assessment and soaked up as much knowledge of the rider, his skills, his goals and of course the area as possible. Thankfully, we was away from any roads, airports or restrictions, so that made it a little bit easier as well. We spoke with the rider and we asked him what he wanted and made a few suggestions as to what we could do in order to bring those things to fruition for him. So, we all had a clear understanding of what each other's wants. We had a nice way of communicating with each other. For example, making sure everybody know that the drone was armed, where we intended to fly on that particular pass, whether we intended to turn left or right when we was in front of the rider, so on and so forth. There was a particular shot where the rider goes through the perms and we said, look, we're gonna come straight for you. You're gonna turn off. But if we get too close, we both turn right. And that means we will avoid each other. And it's always essential, I think, to have clear instructions when you've got somebody who's not used to being around drones, especially FPV drones, that you give them a clear instruction. So we are going to do this. And if we both fear that we are too close, this is how we escape from the shoot. We reset and we try again. It's not a problem if we have to do it again. But at least you know, as the rider, you turn right. I know as a pilot, I turn right and we will both avoid each other. It's a similar thing to what we do in manned aviation. If ever you've got a, an airplane in front of you, the idea is you both turn right and that way you avoid hitting each other. That's the idea anyway. Some some um, general aviation pilots don't like to yield out of the way. So uh, it tends to be that just one person turns right and does loops. But that's another story entirely for another day. So what we did is we tried a few simple lines initially with both pilot and rider agreeing and saying, this is what we're doing, this is how we're going to do it. And then we discussed after each run how it went. And what essentially what we did is we started off with, say, a a, a bigger distance away from the rider initially and then what we did is with each run we got closer and closer checking with the rider after each and every single run were you comfortable with that was there anything you didn't like and we just kept going and going and going until we got this incredibly close shot the open honest and constant communication ensured that the rider was comfortable and ensured that we as the film crew knew that what we was doing everybody was happy with and of course it kept everybody safe and by the end of the day what it meant is because we'd had that constant communication we'd been open and honest and we'd all been talking to each other about how we was feeling by the end of the day we was able to get this incredibly close tight shot with the with the rider the video on screen that you've seen here is a bit of a rehearsal if you like the the, the full trailer and the full actual video will be shot within the next few weeks so do keep an eye out for that on the channel and while you're here, go and give uh, key underscore MTB a follow on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. This kid's going places. He's going to be turning pro pretty soon, I'm sure. Um, so keep an eye on him. And like I say, we'll have some more videos of him coming up on the channel. 
including a full trailer that we're going to do for him and a full little promo that we're going to do for him. But I hope this behind the scenes talk through has been helpful to understand how we're able to do these things. Um, and if you'd like to know anything else, drop a comment below. In the meantime, please like, comment, sub, share, stand on your head, whatever. Just stick around and we'll produce more content. Much love, quads. Thank you.